Hey dudes, what is going on? In this one, we're going to be going over this villager zombifier. So how this design works is that you get a villager in a minecart like that. He pops down below. The zombie will whack him a few times as long as the zombie doesn't see you. Also going to want this wall to be up higher so that this zombie can't escape. Because when they turn back into a villager, he'll actually phase through the wall. And all you have to do at this point... Let's throw a potion of weakness at him. Give him a golden apple. He'll convert back into a villager and then you'll have super cheap trades. And then you can just switch this, give him a little nudge from behind and then shovel him off into your villager trading hall, which I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for this trading hall if you wanna use this one. So this is a design by Puffing Fish HQ. I'm gonna to link to his video down below. Um, well, it's partially his design, I guess. It's not fully his design. He was the one who came up with the concept of putting the running water here and having the zombie whack them while they go by. So I'm taking that aspect of his design um, and then making it a little bit more simple because I didn't need it to be as technical. If you guys want to go check out his video and uh, his design, go check out the video linked down below. This is also the design that Mumbo Jumbo used. I think Mumbo Jumbo's was a little bit different than this design. But Mumbo Jumbo just used this in his Hermitcraft Season 7 episode. So this is what he is currently using. And I just made this in the StrangeCraft um, server. So if you guys want to see that, that is also linked down below. I just wanted to shout out this comment really quick because I thought this was a very nice comment for someone to leave on one of my videos. If you want your comment to be shouted out in a future video, all you have to do is leave a nice comment on this video. If you have any questions or comments for me or you need help on any of these designs, the easiest way to get in touch with me is through the Discord and that is linked down below. I also do streams on Twitch about three to four times every single week. So if you want to hang out with me and watch how I play Minecraft, please consider following me on Twitch. Cool. So let's get back into the content. Okay. So let's get into the build. What you need to do is figure out where you want uh, the villager to come down. Behind that on the third block, you want to raise this up about three blocks like so. Um, where the villager is actually going to come down, you need to put a little block right there to block them. Um, and then we need to build this out a little ways. This is where the villagers are going to be coming in. So I don't know how you plan on getting the villagers. But you need some way to get them down to this area down here. Um, let's go ahead and put a power source on those blocks like so. And then we're going to want the zombie to be in this spot right here. So go ahead and build this up so that he will be trapped in there. And then what you need to do is put a trap door on the floor like that. Turn it up like that. And then you need to get a zombie in here. That's probably going to be the hardest part. And the way that I do that is I go ahead and make this about two blocks wide. So I make a little structure like this and I need them to get down here. I make sure these are closed. I get the zombie to chase me. You come up here. Once you're on the other side, you open these up. He's going to fall down there and then you can use a water against the back here. Or what you can do is actually you can just break um, these blocks right here, stand right here. And then when he gets close to you, just put a block behind him like that. And then he'll be trapped into this um, one by one little space in here, just like that. But when he gets in there, you want to make sure you put a roof on him because he can just hop over this if you do not get a roof over him. Once you get that in place, you want to put another trap door next to uh, the two solid blocks that you're going to have the villager come down and land on right there. You're going to need the shift click and put this fence gate right on top of it. You can open that up. Now we need to make a little barrier so we can put a little water stream in here. So go ahead and make the barrier like that. Then you can put your water stream in there like that. And that is where the villager is going to come down and then fall into there. So I'm going to go ahead and get a zombie in here and hope that he picks up that sword. So it looks like that guy does pick up the sword. You need to throw him a sword once he's in there. Um, a sharp sword would be better. So sharp three, four, five would probably be good. Oh, it looks like our guy over there just converted back into a villager. And what you need to do is just put some blocks where the rail is actually going to go after this. Put a couple power rail right here and power those. Have one um, regular rail so that you can stop the villagers of the zombie villagers here so we can cure them make sure you build up this wall a bit so they can't escape when we have them trapped right here when they face through like that it'll be a mess if you get the villagers to face through the block and then they just run off randomly so make sure you really trap them in there like this and then you're good to go so i'll show you over here what happens when you actually convert them 
So what you need to do is you need to switch this, turn the power rail on, and then just nudge the cart forward a little bit. And then you can go and have him go anywhere you want. So now he's in the cart. So this is the design. It's super straightforward, super simple. And I hope that it's very easy for you to make in your own world. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something new. If you did, if you had some fun, definitely leave a like. That helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more Minecraft automation tutorials and videos, and you want to stay up with my adventures in Strangecraft, definitely subscribe. I'd love to see you in the next video. Cool. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.